welcome to Fandom Fitness Friday. I'm PJ with ZooFit, and today is a special day in the ZooFit family. It's Chris's birthday! Yay! So, to celebrate his birthday, I let Chris decide what fandom we were going to celebrate and basically what game we were going to be playing. So, drum roll, please. We're going to be playing Memory, and the fandom is Sherlock Holmes. Yes! So, yes, this is one of our favorite games, and it works really well for Sherlock. Um, and uh, it, it is a favorite, was a favorite show of the BBC version, was a favorite show of ours. So, this is a great fandom, but it's also a little fandom trivia for you. Uh, as far as my research shows, Sherlock Holmes, the, the book written by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, was actually one of the first true fandoms that had a fan base that celebrated the series. So this is a, this is a, a unique, unique spin. So yeah. again, great choice. Thank you. <laughs> but again, we're going to be playing memory. How do you play memory in a workout? Well, let's get started and we'll find out. All right, guys, it's not just elementary, it's just memory, dear Watson. We're going to be uh, associating different matches with uh, with different exercises. So um, we'll be going over this throughout the exercise, like what I'm, what we're actually doing, and, and also come maybe how I associated these exercises with with the colors. But um, but I, I want to encourage you guys to make it your own because every single memory deck is a little bit different. I have a quite a few. I have the one that I'm setting up and, the, and they are uh, different colors so you can see again we have the pink. Um, pink is going to be lined up with the T-twist plank and different colors match up with different exercises and um, and so this is one memory deck but every deck is different. Again I have even a, a game of Go Fish that I've used to, to, to play memory too with again sea animals so again different uh, different exercises with that animals, uh, animal and family memory, lots of fun, again, different exercises. So whatever you have uh, around with you, again, I'm going to encourage you to create your own your own exercises, but I'll go over some of these that, uh, that we're doing today with our workout. So what you're going to need to do, again, you're going to need a deck or a game of memory, and then you're going to lay it out just like I have here, and then you guys are going to play memory. Um, so what you're going to happen is you're going to flip over cards and if it's a match you're going to do that exercise and you can write it down on a board, on a postcard, on a piece of paper, whatever it is to help you remember what the exercises are. And if it's not a match you're going to do a, a specific exercise too. So um, I do like to, using burpees because I like to get a few burpees in every single day. So no match is uh, burpees and um, and so what we're going to do is, that's no match, so we have our, a little bucket here and I'm going to say it again, this is my um, keeping track of how many burpees we did, uh, put plank it in the bucket and then going to keep on playing again, uh, we have, oh there's pink, if we have a match, great, we're going to again match it up, we're going to do T-twist planks, uh, for this particular game I'm doing 20 of each exercise. So it's going to be 20 T-twist planks. So memory, again, working not just our muscles, but our brain as well as we try to remember where those cards were and what exercise we're about to do. Uh, having a little bit of fun with our workout. It's just memory and elementary, dear Watson. All right, the best way to show you how to play memory is to show you how to play memory. So let's okay. go ahead and get started. Birthday boy, you go first. Okay, uh, blue, green. And green. We have blue and green. That's a no match, so he's going to drop, uh, drop oh. a chip in his bucket. He's winning. <laughs> and five burpees. So you'll get notice that um, we each are doing our own version of a burpee. I'm stepping back. And, and I'm taking out the push-up to protect my shoulders, but I'm adding the hop. Chris is doing a full version of a burpee, but he's taking out the hop. So yeah. your version, whatever your level is, and let's see, I've got white and purple. No match. Lots 
the burpees at the beginning. Okay. Hooray! Hooray! Woo! Got a match. Should we have a match? You just put that in the bucket, so move that from the board. And now we are going to the elephant. We're looking at our memory board. Gray is elephants can't jump. Again, elephants are gray. That's kind of how I came up with that one. Which is basically high knees. So 20 each side. Pink. We that. have not seen pink yet. Blue. And blue. We've seen, We've blue. seen blue and I don't remember where they're. Well, I'll have to figure it out. We have, we have five more burpees. I think the corner also. Blue. Blue. Oops, she's killing me today. Flyway. We're doing flyaway. So again, I associate blue with uh, the, the sky. sky. We're going to fly up, up and away. These are also known as Supermans. That's all pink. And now orange Aha. and green. I'm giving Chris all the answers. It's his birthday. It's the only reason. He's feeling nice. Thank you for the burpees. We got green, green. Woo! That's our glute bridges. Okay. So I'm going to give you a couple options here. If you can see me, I think so. You can do this flat on the ground uh, in a glute bridge and just raising your butt up or you want to make it a little bit harder. Place your feet on a on a um, on an incline. Keep your feet. Uh, keep also your heels flexed, and then come on up. Oh, I feel that in my hamstrings. Feels good. All right. Let's see if I can find you another match. Yeah, yeah. Rainbow. rainbow. I haven't seen that yet. We have not seen the rainbow yet. Uh, red. red, but we haven't seen red yet either, so. Okay. Let's continue on our snake pattern here. Yellow is a new one. And then white. white. Oh, okay, I'm giving you a match. Finally, I can give you a match next. Okay, we're not gonna. And white. Yay! White mountain climbers. Mountain climbers. Why the white? Snow, snow peak mountains. <laughs> <laughs> Which we'll probably see tomorrow. This is a new one. Pink. Pink. I know where pink is. Pink. For pink, we got T twist points. Yes, so we're doing 20, that's 10 each side. We're going to be rolling onto one side. If you can, stretch that arm out up to the sky. And red and red. Whew. Rude. Okay. 20 armadillo rolls. Oh, these are fun. So you're basically just rolling onto your back. Heels butt up into the air, and then rolling back just to your feet. Twenty. All right. All right. Yellow. We well, know where yellow is. Yeah. Yellow, yellow. Step ups. Our second match. <laughs> metaphorical uh, association step up and shine <laughs> <laughs> rainbow and rainbow 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 what's the rainbow the russian, russian twist why rainbow for russian twist because uh, i feel like kind of doing an arc so oh, if you can see me bring up my feet. I'm not using a weight today. You can use a weight. This is 20 each side. We're making this arc like a rainbow, touching each side as we 
twist. Now, if this is too hard for you, by all means, place your feet on the ground and twist. But if you can, lift up those feet, even if it's just for a couple reps. Brown, and brown, brown, brown bear holds knee taps. Of course, that's brown. Yeah. <laughs> the brown bear. So we're gonna get up into uh, what I, we call beast, which is if you're on all fours, you're just going to simply uh, push your toes in and lift your knees up off the ground, and then taking one hand, tapping the opposite knee. Yeah. So. Yeah. Orange. Orangutan walks. Oh, these are fun. These are fun. I don't think we've done these before, span of fitness. Um, but when you're going to be in a, in a large stance, and we're going to be walking kind of laterally, but uh, like an orangutan or a primate, we're going to be using our arms quite a bit. So we're going to hinge down, place our hands to the side of our, of our legs, and then hop on over, and then do it the other way. So hand comes to the far to the side and hop laterally over. Twenty. Here you go. Ooh, ooh. Here's my water. Purple. <laughs> I almost got the workout zones. <laughs> I almost forgot that we had purple before. Oh. Purple and purple. <laughs> so there's only two cards left after this. Peacock jacks. So, different levels. Now, peacock jacks are sh showy birds. So, uh, on a technical term, we're going to be jumping and spreading our arms wide. That's too much impact, especially, <laughs> believe it or not, on my shoulder. Watch Chris. We're going to be simply, uh, simply stepping one out and then again, kind of doing a, a more of a Mo mobility movement, and you can get kind of creative here. We've we've added some cardio to this. Forty, and this is an easy one. Black, black. Toe taps. Um, again, we're going to use the uh, the step. So we're going to be tapping our toes twenty each side, but at a little bit higher pace. Good job. Nice job. And now to see who wins. No, I'm just kidding. We both win. <laughs> uh, if you're counting whoever gets the most burpees, <laughs> then I win. <laughs> yeah, whoever definitely. got the most matches, then he wins. But again, in this game, everybody wins because not only did we work our uh, work out our muscles, work on endurance, we worked our brains as well. So how many burpees did we do? Seven sets of five. 35 burpees today, and then all of our others. Again, working our brain, working our muscles, Ooh. having a lot of fun. Got a good workout. <laughs> That's elementary or memory, dear Watson. Remember always to eat clean, live green, train positive. I'll see you next time on Fandom Fitness Friday.